Good afternoon and welcome to Orlando, Florida as the Valkyries weekend homestand continues at Edition Financial Arena against the San Diego Mojo, the second meeting between San Diego and Orlando here this afternoon. Thanks for dropping by, everybody. Sean Davidson alongside the Beach Volleyball All-American at Florida State, Madison Fitzpatrick. And Madison, in dissecting this matchup, you've got two very interesting teams checking in at four and five in the Pro Volleyball Federation standings. We'll start with the homestanding Orlando Valkyries, who in a five-match road run picked up a lot of momentum. But then they came home and just a few days ago lost in straight sets to the Grand Rapids Rise. With home floor always being so important, what does today's match represent for the Valkyries? Exactly. Well, I always say it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. However, each game is important for the standings right now. As the Valkyries are at four now after sweeping the Fury and the Rise, we saw their best form in that stretch. But having a loss is okay. But getting back into that rhythm that we saw before is imperative for the standings. On the other side of things, you've got a San Diego team that, well, they've got plenty of mojo as they come in here this afternoon. They've won three of their last five. Exactly. And they lost the first three matches of the season in a sweep, but then they found their rhythm. They smoothed out their lineup and tacked on some huge wins against Omaha, the Rise, the Thrill, and now they're coming off a five-set thriller versus Columbus. The singing of God Bless America here at Edition Financial Arena. We'll step aside as pre-match festivities continue here in Orlando, Florida. As the sun continues to shine on the inaugural season of the Pro Volleyball Federation, the stage is set for the crowning of the champion. An energetic Saturday night here inside Gas South Arena. Vibe and the mojo and our first serve. In the heart of competition, Pro Volleyball Federation has ignited a firestorm of excitement. Captivating audience and athletes alike with every match. But behind every spike, every dive, there's been a force driving excellence. Grand Athletics. Solo block right Red Athletics proudly champions the success of the Pro Volleyball Federation's first season. Here's to many more victories on the horizon. China Joseph with a NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Volleyball Federation, where every action carries the weight of passion and pride. There's a select group that rises above the rest. 23 athletes of the Pro Volleyball Federation are past or current members of the USA Women's National Volleyball Team. Each a testament to dedication, skill, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Pro Volleyball Federation, building champions and making dreams a reality. 
well as Georgia Murphy. Let's hear from them now. Yeah, middle blocker number seven, Ronica Stone. Yeah, middle blocker number 10, Ali Bastianelli. At setter number 13, Nutsara Tomcom. At outside hitter number 19, Tammy Thomas A. Lara. At right side hitter number 30, Morgan Lewis. And wearing the libero jersey, number two, Shara Marie Venegas Medina. The Mojo are led by head coach Taiba Hanid Parker. Once upon a time, and a long time ago, a legend evolved. A legend of goddesses on horseback defending the skies over ancient Nordic battlefields. Welcome back here to Edition Financial Arena. Sean Davison standing by with the starting opposite of the Valkyrie, Shina Joseph. And Shina, you're coming off of a tough match against Grand Rapids. You played them back to back in Michigan, then at home. How tough is it, just so you can put it into perspective for folks at home, to beat a team three times, more or less, also when you play them back to back like you did? I think that's the whole point of our league, you know, we play teams four times, twice at home, twice away, and I think that's the part where we have to get creative, you know, like usually in college, pro, you play a team twice during the regular season, um, but playing that team for a third time, you have a lot of time to do adjustments, and they came in, they did adjustments, and they had a new lineup, they put in two new people in their lineup, so that definitely made a difference, and that also gave us, you know, some time to try to adjust, but it was a little too late because they came in too strong. Gotcha. Now you're taking on a San Diego team here today that you've only seen once, and it was about a month or so ago. What are some of your takeaways about the mojo? I think the Mojo, they're a team that you can't just underestimate them, you know, like they probably had a slower start to their season, but they've been on the road and they've been at home and they've been pulling out some really good wins against some really good teams. They won against Omaha a couple weeks ago, so they're definitely a team not to sleep on. And I think we're just coming in and we're going to focus on the Valkyries and make sure that we play our game because when we play our game, we can beat any team. Now, you guys were just on the road for about a month as well, and you played particularly well. How are you feeling about your game and, and how it's translating here at this point of the season? Um, I feel pretty good about my game. I think uh, when I got injured, it gave me a different perspective being on the bench and being able to see, you know, the areas where we needed to improve as a team and the areas where I could have, I can come back in and improve and help the team. And I think since my injury, I've been going on a come up and every day I'm putting extra work. I'm going back to Florida, to the University of uh, Florida to work with my university coach, Dave Booz, and he's giving me a lot of pointers and I think it's just elevating my game. Well, you mentioned that and I was going to ask you about it as well. You're playing here as a professional in Orlando. You're about an hour and a half away from where you had a decorated college career at the University of Florida and part of that dynasty that Mary Wise has built over the years. What does it mean to you to come back to the Sunshine State and offer this next chapter of your career here in Orlando? Honestly, I'm just really honored for the opportunity. When Amy called me up and said, hey, you get to play in Orlando, like, how could I say no? You know, I'm playing back at home. I consider Florida home. I still live there in the off season. And I think it's just, like, it makes me play even harder for the Florida fans. Absolutely. Well, best of luck today as you play the mojo. We'll see how it goes, all right? Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Madison is standing by with Georgia Murphy. adjustment-wise today? I think uh, last game we just made a lot of unforced errors and I think that's all under our control and I think we just have to look today to play our type of game and you know just be ourselves. I think that was the only piece we were missing last game. And San Diego runs a really balanced offense. Tom Com does a really good job at keeping it all balanced. From a defensive standpoint, what's the strategy going into today? Yeah, they're a really great team. They have so many offensive weapons, um, but we're a great defensive team and we're great blockers and I think we just have to trust that we're all going to work together and, and make it really hard for them to score and I think we're totally capable of that today. We've got a four versus five matchup. You guys are four right now. They're five. What kind of impact would winning this game do for your team? I think we just need to take it one game at a time 
game and, and not think about those kinds of things and just play our game, play our play our volleyball and um, trust that we that we'll work it out. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Lineups have been introduced here at Edition Financial Arena, and we'll go ahead and do our part to introduce them to you as well. We'll start with the homestanding Valkyries, who are going back, Madison, to a lineup that we saw early and often this season. Michaela White, Shina Joseph, Jill Gillen, Kaz Brown, Wilma Rivera, and Adora Anaya, the starting six on opening night and for a number of matches thereafter, along with Georgia Murphy, the designated libero for the Valkyries. Meanwhile, for San Diego, Nutsar Tomcom will get the start as well as Temi Thomas Alara, Allison Bastianelli, Bastianelli, excuse me, Morgan Lewis, Kendra Dalkey, and Ronica Stone will all get the start along with Shara Venegas. San Diego coming in off of a five set win over Columbus in Ohio. Orlando coming in off a straight set loss to the Rise just a few nights ago right here in Central Florida. Decent crowd on hand here this Sunday afternoon in the Sunshine State as we get set to get this matchup underway between the fourth and fifth ranked teams in the Pro Volleyball Federation standings. Michelle Prater will be our up official. Young Park will be the down official this afternoon on behalf of the Pro Volleyball Federation. Bolt Six will take care of in out and we'll also turn to Bolt Six for any challenges or any particularly tight calls that might arise as we go throughout the course of this match. It'll be Nutsara Tomcom getting set to serve it in here in this opening frame between San Diego and Orlando. The Mojo making their first trip cross country over here to the Sunshine State. Now they have had time to acclimate and get used to the time zone. They played in Atlanta, then they played in Columbus. So that eases things out a little bit as Tom Com floats it in short to get us underway. Jill Gillen did not play a few days ago. That's her taking the opening swing for the Valkyries. And there's San Diego getting on the board first. I absolutely love that they decided to run a back row attack as their first attack. Kind of catching the defense a little bit off guard. A little unconventional to start the game. I love it. Kendra Dalkey with the opening kill of the match. Another short serve. Wilma Rivera goes up there to rescue that tight pass. There's another one over the net. And Orlando's having trouble here on first ball contact, Madison. Exactly, and that is something that we saw this past matchup against the Rise. Just not totally clean on that first contact. Not right to the setter every time. Let's see if they can smooth that out and get into a rhythm here. Service rotation to start for Tomcom. Here's a backside attack for Shina Joseph kept up. Second effort, Joseph turned back. Kaz Brown, excuse me, Adora and I got to that one. And an off-speed shot finds the floor for Jill Gillen. And this is a point of emphasis for the Mojo. They want to take care of easy plays, which Coach said were off-speed shots. They want to slow them down. They want to be able to control what they can control and take care of those easier, slower shots. China Joseph will head back to serve. She's got a jump top spin that she went to a lot early, has gone to the float of late and has done so to markedly better success for Orlando. Gillen with another swing. And there's a huge block. Wilma Rivera, the setter with the denial. Beautiful block form by Wilma Rivera. Rising into the air, perfectly placed along the net, pressing at the right time and pointing her palms towards the floor. But an aisle of Morgan Lewis. And Orlando strings together a couple of points here early. Lewis this time finds the floor. Kaz Brown not totally closing that block, and Lewis took advantage of that open seam, driving it low and sharp into that gap. Back row. An eye. Out of the middle. And a misfire. 
Kelly Bastianelli misses wide. Another point to Orlando. And there's Bastianelli making up for her miss with a kill. Number 10 in yellow will go back to serve. Bastianelli, a three-time All-American middle blocker at the University of Illinois, who's also spent time on the U.S. national team. Could not dig that one up. China Joseph rises and fires from the back row. That's a good-looking swing for number 15 in blue. Absolutely. Look at her long approach, rising into the air, and then she contacts that ball at a very high point over the net. And I just dropped the hammer. And when speaking with coach Hanif Park before the match, she said that that's an area of the court that they have to defend on Adora Anai, that sharp angle. Nice pass. Orlando scrambling to get that ball back over. Looking for the line, no. An attack error. And that was a good idea. She saw the open court deep down the line is sometimes open. She saw it and swung, but just over rotated a little too much. Donkey in transition got jammed up on serve receive and then went to work on offense. Exactly. Great set by Tomcom, first of all. And then she was patient with her approach. She waited and then used all of that momentum moving forward to power through the ball. 6-4 Orlando. An eye dug up by Lewis. Off speed out of the middle. Thomas Alara lays out for it. Joust at the net. Wilma Rivera nearly came away with a kill. An eye. Dug out by Lewis. Dalkey at a system ball. Great rally here early. Off the edge of the block, and that'll find the floor. San Diego just dug their heels into the Terraflex and made play after play until they got one down. And that's exactly what Coach Honey Park said. When her team is gritty, they win, and they were just very gritty throughout that entire play. Shina Joseph told me pre-match, too. That's one of the things that stood out to her. They're just a scrappy, gritty bunch. This time, Orlando and a nice side out. Another kill for Adora, number 14 in blue. Service error for Wilma Rivera, who has roughly a third of Orlando's aces as a team. Serving a point of emphasis a couple days ago for Orlando in their practice following the loss to Grand Rapids. Joseph off the top of the block and down. What a start for Shina Joseph. Absolutely, she's been heating up throughout the season, becoming more consistent throughout the season, and they've been setting her a lot more, and she's been taking advantage. They're swinging from the left pin when usually she's a right side attacker. She can do it all. Couple of kills, three digs already for number 15. Off speed, turn back. Gillen in transition off the dig. Thomas A. Lara finds the floor. She can score in bunches. She absolutely can. She's coming off 17 kills and 12 digs. A cool double double for her. She's the hot hands on that team. That sends Veronica Stone back to serve. Gillen. Hunting the sideline. She found it. Really Might have solid. Yep, 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 found the hands. It almost looked like the pinky of the right hand, just turning it down the line, swiping it off those fingers. 
Sends MK White back to serve. Got banged up in Orlando's road win in Columbus in the first set. Hadn't played until the final set against Grand Rapids. Three kills on seven swings, a block and an ace for MK White, who subs off the floor. George Murphy, the libero, in that off-colored blue jersey, where in number five, she checks in. That's a powerful swing by Shina Joseph. We saw her on the left pin, now she's on the right. Swung into that block with a ton of power and force. That is long, a service error. And, and just like that, we're tied at 10. Yep, and that will be the Valkyrie's third service error so far in this set. Kaz Brown on the slide. Lewis with a shove. Gillen had it stuffed right back at her and out. And the block was all over that. Kaz Brown, well, here we see her on the slide. Solid defense, reading that ball, diving, laying out. And then here, Kaz Brown not totally up in the air, and Jill had both blockers on her. Gillen once again rejected. This time, Orlando keeps it up. Free ball to San Diego. 11-10 mojo. And another free ball coming. And there it goes. Dolky. And it's that nice tempo set that makes it really difficult to get the block closed. Super fast set. Dolky in the air, driving that ball through that seam. Dolky played her college volleyball at the University of Arizona. As a pro, has played in the Philippines, Italy, Greece, Puerto Rico, and France. Dalkey again. Joseph saves it down the line. Gillen. Dug up by Thomas Elara. Murphy lays out. Joseph gets it back. Brown tips it. It's still up. On the slide. Not anymore. Take care of it, Kaz Brown. Running that quick slide behind the setter on a scramble play. Look at this defense, so scrappy, all-out effort. And then here she goes to finish the play, the slide, which she loves to do, driving it through that open seam. That sends Jill Gillen back to serve. Out of the middle, and Orlando will run out of room. We have seen some all-out effort on both sides of the court. That's one of the things that makes the Pro Volleyball Federation so much fun is how elite the defenses are, how long these rallies go, and how hard they try every single play to keep the ball alive. Another kill for Ali Bastianelli, who goes back to serve. Bastianelli, the more defensive of the two middle blockers for San Diego. And that was a smart shot by Kaz Brown, who does a little bit of everything for Orlando. Absolutely, and that's what makes a solid attacker. You swing a bunch deep, you give a lot of power, and then you take something off of it, and the defense is on their heels. Dalkey turned back into the floor. Michaela White with a step block. I know the Valkyries are happy to have Michaela White back on the court. She's the energy for the team and she's a really technically sound blocker. These teams coming into this match averaging roughly the same in terms of blocks per set. Orlando 2.37, San Diego 2.41. What a dig there, and it turns into a transition opportunity. Oh, wow. Absolutely, look at this defense right where she's supposed to be, left foot on the line, digging it up right to her setter. It's a three pass, which means the setter has all of her options open to set. An eye, high reach, and 
Yankees. I'm not sure if they were in the net or if that ball caught the antenna. We're sitting a ways away from the net itself. But both were shaking on the attack and the point was awarded to San Diego. Timeout on the floor midway through set one. The Mojo lead it by two. We'll take a timeout with them and rejoin the action after these messages. She just has the touch tonight. Sometimes everything just goes right. I feel like Betty De La Cruz has started out that way tonight. Sir. De La Cruz turns up the power. Here's De La Cruz. Too much to handle. Oh my. There's no better top spin serve in the Pro Volleyball Federation. See what you got to give her the player of the week award right now. The wait is finally over. A concept years in the making becomes a reality tonight. We have stars that are sure to make a splash in terms of heads. They are stars everywhere you look. No secret that tonight is going to be epic. Prepare to make history. And we are underway. And what a start. And a serve quietly. Picks out Nana Miller. Just so Two-point lead for San Diego here at Edition Financial Arena, midway through set one. Joining us, Sean Dave, Madison Fitzpatrick, our entire crew on hand to watch the Valkyries take on the Mojo, number four and number five in the PVF standings. The winner of this one will emerge as the number four team in the standings. If San Diego does find a way to beat Orlando here, they will jump the Valkyries, and if the Valkyries win it, they'll afford themselves a little bit more breathing room. Out of the middle, there's M.K. White. Breathing room sounds good to her. And this is when Orlando is at their best. Perfect serve receive pass right to Wilma Rivera, who has all of her options open, and she's able to run through her middles, which are their most efficient attackers. Overpass. White tried to put it down. Dalkey covers. Off the edge of the block. What an up by Murphy. Dalkey turned back. Dalkey retreats. Got to it. Venegas sends it over. Joseph. And we got a net violation on San Diego. And just like that, it's all tied up. That's all it takes. Just a few errors on one side and the momentum can completely shift. 15 all. Rivera serves once more. Off the edge of the block and out. Good looking swing there for Kendra Dalkey. Dalkey's got a ton of power behind each of her swings and she places it really well. They're electing to turn it down the line, tooling off the hands of Shina Joseph. That is the fifth kill in this set for Kendra Dalkey, who didn't do a whole lot in their match at Columbus, but before that was on a string of matches with 10 or more kills. Already halfway to that, and Adora Anai is piling up the kills in the column quickly herself. And to keep that play alive, Jill Gillen covering that block. Solid defense, keeping it going. Adora Anai having a tool of her own. Anaya will go back to serve. Right side attack. That's good offense by San Diego. Good offense, good placement. She contacted that ball so high over the net. See her there just a little high over the hands of Jill Gillen deep into that back corner. Veronica Stone, one of a number of Oregon Ducks on that San Diego roster. Jill Gillen, she went to Arkansas, operating off the block. Out of the middle, and M.K. White was roofed. Allie Bastianelli. Coach Hanee Park told us, Madison, that she was the more defensive of the two middle blockers. Hannah Tapp a little bit more offensive, and we've seen that defense pay huge dividends here early. Absolutely, and she said depending on the game and how it's going, she'll play either middle depending on what they need. Bastianelli coming off four blocks, really solid defensive player. Heck of an up there by Morgan Lewis as well. On we go. Joseph off the block. And Gillen cleans that 
ball up, hovering on top of the net. She knew exactly what to do with it. She really does hover. She's only 5'7", but sometimes when she gets up, she can touch 10 feet, taking care of that overpass, which is exactly what you're supposed to do up there at the net. She tracked the ball, got her feet there, and put it to the open court. Carly Scott has received a number of starts here over the last several matches in place of Jill Gillen. She will now come in to serve in place of MK White. Back row, hello! Adora Anai. Adora Anai can attack at the same efficiency and power from every single area of the court. They are running a BIC, which is a quick back row set, taking advantage of that one block up there and swinging away from her arms. Thomas Ilara dug out by Gillen, add a system ball to Gillen. Off speed, tip back into the floor. Kaz Brown and Shina Joseph created a wall for Orlando. And they created that wall because they pressed at the same time. The timing was spot on on that block. 19-18 Valkyries, 19 all. Morgan Lewis, 10 kills against Columbus, and already a few in set one here today. And this is one of the reasons the San Diego Mojo are so talented. Tom Com has runs such a balanced offense. Last game, they had four players with over nine kills, so she really spreads out her offense well. Tom Com, a player that Tahiba Hini Park told us, really adds a quiet confidence to the San Diego team. You mentioned what she can do right there. Well, what can Brown do for you? Create some angles and hammer it to the floor. Kaz Brown has had a heck of a first set. Absolutely, and that's nice space between the setter and the attacker. Moving the block along the net and opening up some seams. No blocks for Brown, but now three kills on six swings for Kaz as Paula Sarame will check in to serve. Row. Kendra Dalkey, have yourself a set. Absolutely, she has been the leader so far in this set. Right here in a back row attack, weaving it in between two players with a ton of power. Both teams in the red zone, 20 all here in Orlando. Gillen tools the block to perfection. It's a nice tempo set and Gillen takes advantage, swinging really fast. She's got a fast arm swing and then the right side blocker didn't have her palms faced into the court, not able to turn that ball into the court. Fourth kill for Jill Gillen, who goes back to serve. That's a service error. <laughs> Bastianelli will serve it in. Gillen hits the deck. Kaz Brown looking for that sharp angle, misses the sideline. Point San Diego, and a timeout on the floor with the Mojo leading late now, 22-21. What an absolutely beautiful spring evening in the Midwest as we welcome you live to Grand Rapids. This is the Volleyball Federation. And the left side, Chasse with a set point swing. Tom Kahn to Tebby, and she wins it for San Diego. Florida 
Got a heck of a first set brewing here between the Mojo and the Valkyries. San Diego on the road to Edition Financial Arena for the first time in this inaugural season of the Pro Volleyball Federation. They lead it 22-21. That's a strong serve as well. An eye cross court on the attack. Here's Dalkey. She's been the hot hand for San Diego. Anai has recorded several kills herself not to be there. Back and forth, feeding the pin. That's an attack error by Dalkey, and Orlando's done it up at 22. In solid set by Tomcom, pin to pin. Really got her body behind that, pushed that set all the way out to her shoulder. In the first meeting between these two teams, it went five sets. San Diego won the first set 25-19. They lead it 23-22. Dalkey with the kill. Orlando running out of room on the pursuit. Couldn't quite get to that ball after the first contact. And that right there was a testament to Ronica Stone being up in the air and pulling both of those Orlando Valkyries blockers on her, holding them on her, allowing for an open net on the outside pin. Nomeris Velez checks in to serve. Good pass, and I operating off the block. Orlando's blockers causing some problems here. White once again gets a hand on it. Another quality block touch for Orlando, and there's Adora Anai nodding things up once again, this time at 23 all. And that's a great spot by Adora Anai, the deep corner. You see Venegas a little sharp, which is an area of the court that Adora Anai likes to hit. She's there, she's planted, she's inside the block, she's ready for that sharp angle, and Adora Anai has really good court vision. Saw that and swung to the deep corner. Fifth kill for Adora Anai in this first set. Wilma Rivera back to serve. Venegas lays out on serve, receive. Orlando's block turns that ball back. And that is a huge swing that will deliver a set point for San Diego. Dalkey, who else? It hasn't Dalkey been phenomenal this set? That's her eighth kill in the first set alone. She's got a heavy arm and a fast arm swing, and she uses it every time. Good pass here, Joseph off the block. Back set dug up by Murphy. Anai missed the end line, and the first set will go to San Diego. I do want to point out, San Diego is doing a really good job of getting their hands up there and touching all of these attacks. Really solid block touches, keeping the mojo alive and allowing them to recycle the ball and attack. And so that'll do it for set number one. San Diego wins it on the road, 25-23. Set two coming at you after these messages.
San Diego winning set one, 25-23 here in Orlando. And they're off to a good start here in set two, claiming the opening point off the Michaela White service era. Thank you for joining us, Sean Davidson, alongside the Beach Volleyball All-American at Florida State, Madison Fitzpatrick. Orlando looking to win their first set on the weekend. San Diego looking to win their second match in as many days. And they're looking pretty darn good here. Dalkey continues her offensive onslaught. Just a couple of days ago, San Diego winning a match on CBS Sports Network. A five-setter in Columbus. Quick turnaround. Got in yesterday evening, in fact, to Orlando. Quick serve and pass this morning. And now here they are winning the first set over the Valkyries and out to a 2-0 lead here in set two. Overpass. And I covers. And Kaz Brown hammers that one to the floor. Nice connection there from Rivera and Brown. That's a three set. It's a gap set. You take a little bit of space. It's a tempo set. Kaz Brown sees that block, identifies those hands, and hits away from it. Shina Joseph back to serve. Dug that ball up down the line. Now Joseph herself goes to work on offense. Lewis dug up by Joseph once more. Gillen hammers that off the block. Here's Lewis once again dug up. Gritty rally here early on. Out of system ball to Gillen. And there'll be another out of system ball coming to her. This time Jill Gill tools the block for the kill. And one of the things that's so much fun about Jill Gill is when she swings, she puts her entire body into that swing. She uses all of that momentum in her approach to swing through the ball, and it's almost like in the air, her body's doing an entire crunch, and that's how much power and force she's putting into that swing. On the slide, what a good-looking swing. Veronica Stone wasting no time. Absolutely, I would love to see them get Veronica Stone involved a lot in this second set. She's coming off nine kills. She hit 380, which is extremely efficient. So when she gets going, she takes off. Gillen looking for the end line. Will miss it. She won't catch a block touch either. Point San Diego. Four two mojo. And a trickle ace makes it five two. And the reason why we see trickle aces, trickle serves, excuse me, get aces a lot of the times is because that ball looks like it's coming one way and then it's delayed. It snags the tape, it changes its direction, and it's more difficult to get under. Service error by Dalkey right after the ace. Point right back to the Valkyries. And it's a two-point lead for San Diego. And when you serve, you kind of go for a one-to-one -one ratio, one ace to one miss. She did that right there. Gillen 
misses the sideline. And that'll send Ronica Stone back to serve. Dylan's jammed up and out of system set to Shina Joseph, who just underhands the ball over. Kaz Brown went above the net, and according to the up referee, Michelle Prater, it was on San Diego's side of it. She could not attack that ball. Exactly. You cannot reach over to the opposing team's side and then interfere with the ball. And that's what she did right there, awarding the point to San Diego. Three. Back row, Joseph. Shina Joseph has been a real bright spot here for Orlando. Solid play on the road, was one of the better contributors a couple of days ago, and off to a good start here. Oh, absolutely. She's so versatile. She's got a lot of range. She can attack from every area of the court, and her defense has been absolutely electric as of late. And that defense allows for a kill by Adora Anai. That's the sixth of the match for Adora. Thomas Alara got the block touch. That's definitely one of those things I would like to see the Valkyries do is amp up that service pressure while still being consistent, but try and get the mojo out of system, out of their rhythm a little bit because they've been pretty in system. Tom Com floats it in short. Wilma Rivera called her own number. That's an attack error for the setter. And a timeout taken by Orlando. San Diego already won set one. And early on in set two, the mojo carrying plenty of mojo over. They lead it by four. We'll take a timeout with the teams. winning set one 25 23 looking to go up two sets to none at the intermission still plenty of work in set two to do though for Mojo. Taiba Hini Parks got her team playing pretty dadgum well here of late slow start to the season for the Mojo who got to work a couple weeks later than the majority of the Pro Volleyball Federation. So the learning curve was steep. It was like drinking water straight from a fire hose. But they've withstood that, Madison, and despite that attack error, Ty Bahini Park and her team have played some pretty darn good volleyball, arguably their best year of late. Absolutely, absolutely. It's obvious they found their chemistry, they have found their rhythm, they know what works. Their defense looks comfortable, their setters and their hitters are looking on point, and I think we have a challenge. Now you can't challenge whether or not a ball was in or out, and so I imagine, as we're seeing here, the Mojo were challenging whether or not there was a block touch, and it certainly looks like with that motion on that finger, 
they are correct. It's fantastic technology. And that technology is provided by Bolt 6, who provides 22 high definition cameras around every arena in the Pro Volleyball Federation to provide angles and indisputable video evidence such as that to make sure they get the call right and to do so expediently. So away we go, take the point away from the Valkyries and give it to the Mojo. They lead it by six now. Off speed for the kill. Smart shot by Temi. She saw the open court, tipped it right to it, and it all starts with defense. Tom Com, the setter, playing phenomenal defense, and then here's the vision right in front of Shina Joseph. Temi Thomas, Alara. Just wrapped up her college career, started at Northwestern, then went to Wisconsin. And when she was at Northwestern, Madison averaged north of four kills per set. Went to Wisconsin where she was the third leading scorer, a couple of kills per set there in Madison. And now this year, the numbers resembling what she did at Northwestern, up over four kills per set as a pro. Absolutely, she leads her team in kills and coach told us that she's very hungry, which I love that adjective to describe an athlete. And I lets that one rip, heavy swing by number 14 in blue. Gillen jammed up there. And now this time and I goes off speed. Here's Morgan Lewis firing away. Back row, Gillen dug up. Lewis off the block. Rivera pulled out on first contact. Out of system ball to Joseph. Lewis on the run. Gillen passes it up. And I goes off speed. On and on we go. Back set, Joseph dug up and over. Anai tries to put it down, it's tipped back. White rejected. Joseph off the block and down. What happens when you have All-Americans, national champions, Olympians all out there on the floor together? You get plays that last about a minute and a half, two minutes, absolutely incredible rallies and then finished in a very exciting way by the hot hands right now, Shina Joseph. Shina Joseph has been set nearly as much as Adora Anai in this match. I love it, and that's just a testament to how much Wilma Rivera trusts her and trusts her to take care of the ball. <laughs> Rivera herself goes back to serve. That's an attack error by San Diego. That's the service pressure that I was talking about. Getting the mojo out of system, making them scramble a little bit and go outside of themselves when they have to swing. Eleven-eight, San Diego. An eye hunting the line, missed it. A rare from Adora Nye, who just swung a little too far down the line, about an inch out, so close. I love the fact that she's going for those lines. Lead back to four for Timmy Thomas, Alara. And I roofed, and here's a burst from San Diego. Both blockers on Anai that whole time, a little bit of a trap set. They were right on her, tracked the ball really well, pressed and pointed their palms towards the floor. Service error, point goes to Orlando. Nice pass. Lewis off the top of the block. Good pursuit by Georgia Murphy. Gillen rolls it to the floor. Thomas Alara got there. Opportunity for San Diego. It creeps over the net, and MK White puts it down. Yep, and when you're a setter and you're in the back row, you cannot go over the net. And that's what the referee called.
Chayiba Hineef Park. Not too thrilled, but has to be pleased with how her team has played in general to this point. There's an ace serve. Now that is a beautiful jump topspin. It's a high risk, high reward serve in order to get it in and have it be an ace. The toss has to be there. Your approach has to be there. The timing has to be there. And you have to contact it at its highest point and put just enough spin on it. And she placed it perfectly. This time down the line for Adora and I. Lewis off of an eye, shoulder and down. Nice high swing by Lewis, who he said before, coming off 10 kills and 10 digs and three blocks. She's starting to heat up a little here. Coach Hanif Park said she steps up. When she puts her on the floor, she steps up. Excellent pass. San Diego's block was ready though, and when Gillen went up to tip it, it rolled outside the antenna. Point Mojo. Been very impressed by San Diego's block. Yes. They look very technically sound, super disciplined, and they move along the net really athletically. Gillen, that's straight down, but out of play. And Gillen has had a lot of success turning that ball down the line and tooling off the hands of Morgan Lewis, who just needs to drop her pinky and point her palms into the court to deflect that ball onto the other side of the court. Three-point lead for San Diego, 15-12. Lewis had to wait on that one, missed opportunity for the mojo. Here's Gillen off the block. Thomas A. Lara plays it up. Dolkey was the hot hand in set one. Second effort for Dalkey. Off the block and out of play. That was a little bit of a delayed swing by Dalkey, which worked out because the block was on their way down and she was able to tool off the hands of the block that wasn't timed up right. First player on either side to go into double figures in the kill column. Dalkey with her 10th. There's Kaz Brown. Another kill for Kaz. I'm not sure if the connection was quite what she was looking for, but she made the absolute most of it. Nice space from the setter, and I like that because it's almost like a no look. It's very difficult to read because she's not even facing where she's hitting. San Diego still leads by three. Dalkey on the attack. Dug up by an eye. Kill it! Gracious! Unleash a cannon, Jill Gillen. Five, seven, but absolutely soars. Look at her waiting on her approach and then speeding up into the ball. And look at that fire and that energy. Trying to fire up her team. Now the Valkyrie's down by two. Tolkien with a huge response of her own. Man, how good has she been today? She's been absolutely phenomenal and good for TomCom understanding who the hot hands are and feeding them and not being afraid to feed them. Dalkey, who in addition to her pro career has spent the last couple of seasons as an assistant coach at UC Davis. There's Gillen with another kill. The two hot hands are at the pin. Gillen for Orlando, Dalkey for San Diego. And each one has now rotated to the back row. Negas plays it up. Oh, strong block by Orlando. Good coverage by Tom Cump. Thomas A. Lara turned back. Ooh. Missed connection and Orlando makes him pay. That was a great decision by Kaz Brown. He's got really good court vision, first of all. On the ground, she's so athletic. She doesn't panic. She's extremely experienced and seasoned as a blocker. She sees the open court and blocks it right to it. Oh, what a serve! Jill Gillen, a second set lightning bolt for Orlando. And just like that, we are all tied up. That is the feeling of momentum shifting. A couple flashy plays, and just like that, you can get the confidence back on your side. Orlando knots it up at 17. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with
Pro Volleyball Federation, where every action carries the weight of passion and pride. There's a select group that rises above the rest. 23 athletes of the Pro Volleyball Federation are past or current members of the USA Women's National Volleyball Team. Each a testament to dedication, skill, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Pro Volleyball Federation, building champions and making dreams a reality. She just has the touch tonight. Some nights, everything just goes right. I feel like Betty De La Cruz has started out that way tonight. Sir, De La Cruz turns up the power. Here's De La Cruz. Too much to handle. Oh, my. There's no better top spin serve in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Seventeen all. A big second set. Orlando dropping the first 25-23, looking to equalize. Problems. Diego on serve received. Now they're struggling on first contact. Anai on the attack dug out by Dalkey. Joseph. Man, Orlando is really starting to find full song here in the second. Absolutely, and Orlando has so many offensive weapons who are in the air all at the same time, making it really difficult to get a read on defense. 18-17, now 18-18. I do like that Orlando has upped their service pressure, getting San Diego in a bit of a mess on their side. But sometimes there's the risk. If you're going for it on your serve, you're trying to make that ball really flat and floaty. Sometimes you err. Back set, Brown, my goodness. And Wilma Rivera with Orlando cleaning up that first ball contact on their own side of the net. She has been able to dig deeper, set more people, provide different looks. It's been fun to watch. Absolutely, the offense looks really balanced right now and she herself is an offensive weapon and even though she missed on one of those swings, the block still has to respect her. And if you're Orlando, as good as the offense has been clicking here, you cannot afford to get points at the service line. Absolutely, absolutely. That's their eighth of the match. Lost set one by two. Knotted up here, 19 all, approaching the red zone in the second. Joseph launching from the back row. Tomcom pulled out on first contact. Add a system to Lewis. A nine. Pick a hitter. They'll find the floor. Absolutely. The placement there was perfect. Dropping her pinky, driving it down the line. And if you're a young setter, take notes on how Wilma Rivera gets to the ball. She gets her feet there, keeps it in front of her, and just launches it perfectly to Adora Nye's hand. Rivera now back row, three attackers in the front. An eye off the block. Lewis straight down. A huge timely block by the Valks. Both teams net defense has been really on these past two sets. And right there, that's perfect blocking form. Palms faced down into the court, arms pressed all at the right time. Well, you can read the emotion and the energy by Orlando here in set two. They know how much this means. Lewis with a much needed side out for San Diego, trims the lead to one. I said it before, but coach said that she steps up and that's her stepping up right there. A whole lot of range on that swing. And that'll send Thomas Elara back to serve. Joseph. That back corner was left open and China said, I'll put the ball there. At the beginning of the season, we saw China Joseph absolutely love ripping it into the seams, really hitting it sharp and down. And she's been working on her range and her versatility as an attacker, and it has been paying off. An eye into serve. 
Dahlke tried to turn it down the line. No touch at the net by Orlando. And the Valkyries find themselves with a three-point lead. Two away from the set and closing in on perhaps equalizing it at the intermission. Madison, when you take a look at set two, what stands out to you? I think the Valkyries have just been playing cleaner. They've been taking care of what they should take care of, the controllables. They've been cleaner on their first ball contact. There's been less communication errors. And then their attackers have been taking advantage of every single swing. They've played extremely efficient this past set. And all of that is a testament to Wilma Rivera spreading out the offense, trusting her hitters, putting them in the right positions to score. Three-point lead for Orlando, who's looking to win their first set at home this weekend. Tough loss to Grand Rapids a couple of days ago. And it's tough to beat a team three times, especially when you play a team back-to-back. -back. Once up there, once on your home floor. I think Shina Joseph was particularly eloquent in talking about how tough a prospect that is. Orlando is off, though, and they're Shaking off a tough set one as well. Closing in on perhaps set two, but I'll tell you what, Thomas A. Lara wants to extend the proceedings here. Exactly, she's not going out without a fight. She hits the ball really high and hard. Really solid hand contact and good placement on that one. Monica Stone rotating to the front row and that is an untimely service error. And if you're the Valkyries, that's a gimme. You say thank you, you go back to the service line, and you take care of this last point. And Orlando will turn to Paula Cerame. <laughs> Lewis off speed over the block, Cerame covers. Dahlke. Rejected, turned back, put down, and Orlando ties it up. One set apiece. And the arena goes absolutely wild. The energy in here is electric. The Valkyries clicking at the right time there in set two. The all-out effort by Paula Cerame, keeping that ball up. And then a huge block by Orlando to seal the deal, a much needed set after a very tough weekend for the homestanding Valkyries. Amy Pauley will be chatting with Madison Fitzpatrick shortly. We'll be back for it.
Coach, Shina Joseph, eight kills, 10 digs. How big has she been for you in this second set? I think Shina is a competitor and she wants to win and she's ready to take over matches and take that responsibility. And she's always gonna swing hard. She's always gonna dive for the ball. And so I think that she's just trying to do what she can to put the team on her back and take some responsibility off of our outsides. What was the difference maker between set one and set two? less errors at the end of the set. I think that we are always aggressive servers, so we're gonna miss, but missing back to back is not okay. We cleaned that up in the second set, and that's why you kind of saw us go on a run there. Thank you so much, coach, good luck. As the snow continues to shine on the inaugural season of the Pro Volleyball Federation, the stage is set for the crowning of the An energetic Saturday night here inside Gas South Arena. Vibe and the mojo and our first serve. In the heart of competition, Pro Volleyball Federation has ignited a firestorm of excitement. Captivating audience and athletes alike with every match. But behind every spike, every dive, there's been a force driving excellence. Grand Athletics. The Red Athletics proudly champions the success of the Pro Volleyball Federation's first season. Here's to many more victories on the horizon. China Joseph with a NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Volleyball Federation, where every action carries the weight of passion and pride. There's a select group that rises above the rest. 23 athletes of the Pro Volleyball Federation are past or current members of the USA Women's National Volleyball Team. Each a testament to dedication, skill, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Pro Volleyball Federation, building champions and making dreams a reality. What an absolutely beautiful spring evening in the Midwest as we welcome you live to Grand Rapids. This is the Volleyball Federation. And the left side, Chasse with a set point swing. Tom Khan to Temi, and she wins it for San Diego. Big deal, I got it. 
as we take a look at the stats over the first two sets, both Orlando and San Diego claiming one. The Valkyries with a handful, handful more kills. A few more errors though for Orlando as well, particularly at the service line. Madison, when you assess where we've come from and how we've gotten here, what stands out to you? I think what stands out to me is the lack of errors in the second set in the red zone for the Valkyries. They cleaned it up nicely. They cleaned up their attacking and their first ball contact looked really clean. And then they also brought a lot of service pressure. But you can see from these stats, this is a really tight game. Both setters doing a good job at spreading out their offenses. I would love to see the Mojo get their middles involved a little bit more to free up their outsides. We've got Stone and Bastianelli, two kills each, and those are their middles, so I would love to see them to get active and involved more to free up those pins. And here we got some highlights. Jill Gillen has been active early. She's not a middle, but she's a sensational outside hitter. Kendra Dalkey, sensational just the same. I mean, absolutely. 11 kills, and we've only had two sets. She's had two digs. Excuse me, eight digs. She's looking like she could get a double-double tonight. She's been a leader on this team. There she is driving it down the line. So much power behind every single one of her swings. And this is one of the difference makers, the Valkyries delivering in the red zone, playing clean, aggressive volleyball. And we can't have a highlight reel without ending on Dalkey. She has been absolutely electric. And Jill Gillen, one more for bonus. Look at that energy, only 5'7", but absolutely skies, hitting that ball straight down. Those are the highlights from sets one and two. These teams coming back out to the floor here for this third set. And while we've got a moment, we want to remind you that Orlando's back in town next weekend. They'll be hosting the Atlanta Vibe for their final match against Atlanta. That'll be Sunday, April 21st, right here at Edition Financial Arena. So you can get your tickets at orlandovalkyries.com. That's orlandovalkyries.com. They're going as low as $10. These teams swapping sides here at the intermission. Orlando will be operating from the right, San Diego from the left. Some freebies going out to the fans here at Addition Financial Arena. Seeing plenty of the Orlando shirts and goodies out here at Ad5. There's an Orlando Valkyrie shirt. While well, we got another second, be sure to get your 2024 inaugural season team gear while it lasts. Valkyries merch is available at all home games and through their website. Log on to OrlandoValkyries.com for all your Valkyries merchandise needs. That's OrlandoValkyries.com. It'll be Nutsara Tomcom serving it in to kickstart set number three here in Central Florida. San Diego won the first set 25-23. The Valkyries won set two 25-21. First to 25 win by two for the set. And whoever does will have a chance to win this match in the fourth. Best three out of five to win the match if they swap. And one team wins set three and the other one wins set four. It'll bring up a first to 15 win by two fifth for the match. A lot of volleyball still to come here in the Sunshine State. And I believe we should be getting to it momentarily. So we're getting word that Michelle Prater, the up referee, I guess her tablet went down. So they are changing the tablet here as we are set to get set number three started. It's all part of that really cool technology provided by Bolt 6. And that tablet is what 
Michelle Prater and of course her down Young Clark will look at to determine whether or not a ball was in or out. Now they are not who's going to make the decision in the case of a challenge. That goes to a command center in Frisco, Texas who looks at all 22 of the high definition camera angles around Edition Financial Arena. But certainly for Prater, in the moment when you're determining in out and you're looking at the tablet for confirmation, you want to make sure that thing's working. Oh, absolutely. And the technology, the Bolt 6, is really cool because it removes all subjectivity out of the call. It is objective, it is quick, it is factual, and the right call always gets called with Bolt 6. And that's the thing, too. You know, I think across the board, the referees we've seen here in the Pro Volleyball Federation have been fantastic, but they are also huge. Mm -hmm. Bolt six helps to smooth things out as we get set for set number three. And this time it's Orlando jumping on the board. First, Kaz Brown off speed to the Terraflex. I love it. In system for Orlando. Run through your middles right off of the bat. Try and free up those pins later in the set. Shina Joseph going back to serve. Lewis picks it up on serve received, now transitions out of it and won't catch the block touch. Point Orlando. Shina Joseph will stay back to serve. Eight kills, eight digs already in this match for Shina. Back set to Thomas Alara. Picked up by Murphy. Here's Gillen. All Orlando to start set three. Jill Gillen has stepped back into the lineup with a ton of confidence. Every single swing, she goes up so confidently, she knows exactly where she wants to place that ball, that time hitting high off the hands of the blocker. Lewis, heavy swing. What an up by Murphy. Thomas Elora had it roofed. Kaz Brown with the solo stop. Defense wins games. First the floor defense for the Valkyries, keeping the play alive. And then this is perfect form. It's almost as if her arms and her body are two different things. She read that ball so well and threw her arms into that seam, shoving it straight down. Strong service rotation by Shina Joseph. Thomas Elara will put it to a close, but strong out of the gates for Orlando, who leads 4-1 early in this third set. Yep, and if you're Thomas Elara, you love that one-on-one -on -one situation, one blocker to one hitter. She just cranks it, sharp angle. On the slide, there's Kaz Brown. Nowhere for Dalkey to go. Turned on that one and it went into the net. Point Orlando. Nice pass by Venegas. Lewis found the open corner. Good placement by Lewis, who has shown a lot of versatility in her weapons on offense. That one electing to go deep down the line with the tip. It was a good pursuit by Jill Gillen, just not able to get her platform underneath it and scoop it up. Second point of this third set for San Diego. And that's an ace serve. We've traded off a few aces perfectly placed and what makes a float serve so difficult to receive is the amount of movement it has in the air after you touch it with your hand to the point where it gets to the service receive line. Orlando could be in trouble, it's another ace. Ali Bastianelli drops in a couple of aces in a row. And that ball nice and flat, shifting and rising at different times, making it difficult to track and get your platform underneath. Ellie Bastianelli played a year of pro volleyball in France, two more in Puerto Rico, then three more of Athletes Unlimited back in 2022. She was the top blocker in Athletes Unlimited 
Strong service run for her, but Adora and I puts an end to it. Yeah, but if you're the Valkyries, you are happy to get out of that service rotation. They were struggling just a little bit there on service Eve. A nice pass. Good offense there by San Diego. And Dalkey, the beneficiary, with an open look. Yep, Dalkey with her 12th kill. And you see there Michaela White jumping with the middle, jumping with Stone. Stone makes her respect her every single time, and she opens up her pins for her. An eye on the attack. Point to San Diego. And there's a the service error by Lewis. Credit to the mojo. They withstood that early burst by the Valkyries here to get things started in set three. Now it's Orlando leading once again 7-6. Great pass to Tom Tom. And there's Ronica Stone on a tight slide, finding the seam. Last time, San Diego Mojo played the Orlando Valkyries. Ronica Stone had a season high, 15 kills, hitting 350. I'd like to see her get involved more. She's extremely efficient and powerful. Good block by Stone, manning the net, controlling that overpass, doing exactly what she's up there to do. San Diego leads it eight to seven. Going to the floor on serve received. There is a step block. Veronica Stone, you mentioned Madison getting those middles involved, and we have called seven a lot here. Stone with a big defensive highlight. Absolutely, and you see her there diving into that open seam, completely shutting off that gap. Tight pass, white turn back, second effort, tipped it to the floor. And San Diego is contesting yep. something there. I think they think that she basically, go ahead. Carried it, yep. yeah. She, I think that they think that she held on to it for a little too long. It was sticky to her fingers and that she carried it. But nonetheless, Valkyrie's point. And San Diego's lead is down to one for the moment. Another nice pass there by Venegas. Shina Joseph off the block. Lewis retreats, free ball to Orlando. Joseph dug up by Dolkey. Tomcom on the run, sets it into the scorer's table. Yep, and there looked to be just a little bit of hesitation from Tomcom. I'm not sure from our vantage point if that was a communication error or what, but nonetheless, I like the service pressure from the Valkyries. They're keeping their foot on the gas pedal. 9-0. Really fun third set. Absolutely, the first time these two teams met up, they went to five. We knew it was gonna be tight. It is very entertaining. Back row, heavy swing by Lewis. And what an effort by Wilma Rivera getting to that ball. Thomas Awara, it's saved. Jump to the floor though, Tom Com puts it into it. And hold on, we have an injured Valkyrie. I believe it's Wilma Rivera. Yep, on that play, it looked like her foot slipped and she did almost a split. But there she is standing, that's good. It's hot in here, the floor is a little slippery. Maybe she just, one of her feet slipped a little bit, but she seems to be okay. Good to see her stay in for Orlando. Back set, Joseph. 
She might slip, she might fall, but she sets a gem to Shina right on the back side of it. Absolutely, and she got that ball perfectly to Shina Joseph's shoulder. And sometimes that's a little bit more difficult because it has to cross over your body before you contact it. But Shana Joseph with that thumb down, straight down the line kill. Thomas Alara. And I got there, and Gillen hammers it. I love that. And then after the kill, Michaela White picks up Jill Gillen. She soars when she swings. She soars after the point. She's just a high flyer. Six kills on 12 swings for Orlando. As that gentleman wipes up the floor and adds a little extra English for the folks here at Edition Financial Arena, they love him. He deserves it. He's been putting in a lot of work. Holly Bastianelli on the slide puts that ball away. And quietly, Madison, Allie Bastianelli's had a really nice match, hasn't she? Oh, she absolutely has. She's been very consistent. I haven't seen many errors from her. And also a lot of range, that swing. She saw Michaela White in the back row and swung deep down the line. Tom Com with the bump. Orlando knocks it back. Thomas Alara off the top of the block. Joseph off the top of the block as well. It is still up. Joseph hammers it into the block, point Orlando. I do want to give some credit to San Diego Mojo Libero, Venegas with fantastic dig. She's really scrappy, keeping that ball alive. Just an error to finish the point, but coach said she's got a lot of competitive drive and fire for her team. 12-year veteran on the Puerto Rican national team. She was on their first ever Olympic team in 2016 in Rio de Janeiro. How about Georgia Murphy laying out there? Gillen, though, stuffed. Yeah, both Libero's putting in a lot of work, lined up nicely on defense, but there's not much you can do about that. That ball blocked straight down. Ali Bastianelli with her third block, coming off of a season-high four against Columbus. Three more here tonight. An eye into the net. That's a point for San Diego. I don't even think you're going to credit Lewis with a block on that. That's just a straight attacking error by an eye. Thirteen twelve, San Diego. Gillen tips it over the block. Anegas sets the out of system ball. Look at Joseph rising and firing for Orlando. Dulkey cross court. No call yet. Point San Diego. Dulkey has showed us that she's got a really heavy arm and then also a lot of range painting that line. Pretty sharp cross court swing. And here we have him just going to work again. His name is Conrad and he is putting in Almost as much effort as the Valkyries are. Conrad is going to become a folk hero here in Orlando <laughs> before the season's over. On the slide, Kaz Brown, and that is turned back. Shina Joseph tried to get a hand on it, but couldn't. And just like that, despite a strong start to the set for Orlando at the midway point, it's the Mojo leading it by three. That brings us to our Midway Media timeout. We'll step aside for a few seconds and rejoin set three next. She just has the touch tonight. Sometimes everything just goes right. I feel like Betty De La Cruz has started out that way tonight. Sir, De La Cruz turns up the power. Here's De La Cruz. Too much to handle. Oh my. There's no better top spin serve in the Pro Volleyball Federation. years in the making becomes a reality tonight. We have stars that are sure to make a splash in terms of heads. They are stars everywhere you look. No secret that tonight is going to be out there. Prepare to make history. And we are underway and what a start. And a serve for Wiley. Picks out Donna Miller. Just so San Diego. 
Diego, one set one, 25-23. Orlando, one set one, 20, or set two, 25-21. And now it's the Mojo leading 15-12 with Thomas A. Lara set to serve it in. Teams have their full complement of subs and challenges here in this third set. You get eight subs, two challenges, two timeouts every single set. Pardon us, Neil Diamond. We got a set to finish here at Edition Financial Arena. Jill Gillen. Made Neil Diamond drop the mic, and then she dropped the hammer. And what I love about this play is you see Cass Brown running back on the slide, pulling that middle with her. Jill Gillen was then left with a one-on-one -on -one situation and took advantage of that open net. Two-point third set. Out of the middle, there's Bastianelli. Bastianelli has had a really solid night. She's got three blocks, five solid block touches. She's been pretty consistent for her team offensively as well. Several kills now for Bastianelli as well. That ball set out to a nine, and the seam was wide open. Bastianelli will want that one back. She was upset with herself that the scene was so open. Absolutely, and really that's just a communication error. They were both there, they could both get it. They just didn't talk on that play. Out to the pin and Dalkey dug over. Now out of the middle, there's Stone. Nice crossbody swing by Stone, turning it down towards Shina Joseph, hitting it high, kind of at her chest. Good setter hitter connection there as well. I'll send Morgan Lewis back to serve. Tight. Rivera wins the joust. Dalkey off the block. Joseph retreats. Back row, Gillen! Joe Gillen fires so confidently from every single area of the court. I love that set from Wilma Rivera, spreading out that offense. One-on-one -on -one situation for the block, and Jill Gillen identified those hands and swung around it. Two-point third set. Nice pass by Dalkey to Tomcom. Dalkey herself goes off speed. A nine will do the same, and that will find the floor. San Diego continued to play that out. I think they thought there was a pancake, but I'm not seeing anybody go to the monitor. And that is one of the aspects of the game that Coach Hanif Park said that they need to focus on is converting those off-speed shots into points. And right there, they weren't able to come up with it, but that is a focus for this team. One point set. And a service error makes it two. Donkey back to serve. It was strong. Orlando. Goes to Joseph. Thomas Alara taking a swing for San Diego. And Orlando sides out. And there's Michaela White with a crossbody swing of her own. Down the line, snapping at a really high point over the net, putting some power and pace behind it. 18-17 San Diego. And I serves down the line. Back row, Lewis dug up by an eye. Gillen rolls. Ilara stretches. Stone on the slide puts it down. Stone took advantage of that open seam. She's got a really fast arm swing. She drove through that gap in the block and the little gap in the defense. That one 
floated in short passed well by Orlando. Joseph off the block. Dolphy, heavy swing. Lewis off one foot. Gillen into the teeth of the block, and that is a huge stop for San Diego. Big time block that was set perfectly by TomCom, tracking that ball. She set it at the right location. All the middle blocker had to do was do her block approach, get there, press her arms over the net, and turn her palms into the court. TomCom had two blocks against Orlando in San Diego. Now has one here today. Service error goes right back to Orlando. It'll be Paula Cerame now checking in in place of Michaela White. What a lift Cerame gave Orlando at the end of set two. Amy Polly looking for something similar here. Back set, Bastianelli turned back. Thomas Alara over the block. Rivera stretches, Sarame sets the out of system ball to Gillen and it misses the end line. Point San Diego. Solid rally, that ball, she just wasn't on top of it enough, wasn't able to get enough snap on that ball. She contacted it a little low and that's why it soared out. Sara Tom come back to serve. Joseph, nothing doing. Back row. Lewis drops the hammer. Wilma Rivera crashes into the seats. Got the ball somewhat up, but it wasn't playable for anybody else. We have seen a ton of pursuit from both of these teams. We've seen multiple players crash into those chairs that are outside of the court. It's been really fun to watch how scrappy they've all been. The lead swells to four for San Diego. And we'll take a timeout with the teams here at Ad 5. What an absolutely beautiful spring evening in the Midwest as we welcome you live to Grand Rapids. This is the Volleyball Federation. And the left side, Jose with a set point swing. Tom Khan to Tebby, and she wins it for San Diego. here in Orlando, San Diego, perhaps closing in on set number three. Jill Gillen, dug up by Tom Conn. Thomas A. Lara turned back, but out of play. Point San Diego. And can we all just admire Venegas with the back set, pin to pin, really cranked her body to get that set perfectly. And she records an assist in the manner that looked like she was a setter. Gillen stuffed. Now this is a very dominant performance in the red zone by the Mojo. Lewis with the solo stuff for San Diego and just like that the Mojo have set points. Brown will try to extend the proceedings. That did clip the sideline. And so she'll do so. San Diego just to side out away from going up two sets to one. And there you have it. Morgan Lewis with the defensive fireworks. 
works to put the mojo on the doorstep. She slams the door herself to seal set three, 25-19. We'll be back for set four after this. As we take a look at the stats from the first three sets, this is where things stand. San Diego with the edge in aces, Orlando with the edge in kills. But Madison, San Diego is just playing cleaner volleyball. And one thing that stood out to me from set three in particular, five mojo blocks. Absolutely, their net defense has been really on tracking the ball well they've been really dominant at the net and their their floor defense has been setting them up to be super efficient on offense it's been very impressive every single aspect of their game fired on all cylinders late in that third set on top of those five blocks san diego also had seven quality block touches as well there's a block for orlando but it's out of play <laughs> missing the sideline. Must win set for the Valkyries. San Diego can win this match three sets to one if they win this four. First to 25, win by two for the set, or for San Diego's case, for the match. There's Michaela White dug up by Tom Conn. Back set by Vanegas, and Dalkey was roofed. Adora Anai paired with Michaela White is so dominant at the net. They're both very tall and physical. Adora Anai set that block up at the right spot and the timing was on. One all. Man, Benegas passes a dime and Dalton. 
back. He goes cross with it. She has been so efficient and confident and effective out there on the left pin. That's set inside. She gets there with her feet, swings through the ball. And one thing I think is interesting, Tom Con, we've been calling her name a lot. She leads the Pro Volleyball Federation with an average of 11.1 .1 assists per set. So she's just as dominant throughout the league as she is tonight. That's a service error. Orlando will gladly take it. And Tom Com, as you mentioned, that 11 assists per set, 31 to this point. Funky pass there by Thomas Ilara. San Diego does well just to get it over, but it presents an opportunity for Kaz Brown to do what Kaz Brown does. And that's good, clean volleyball. You want to capitalize on that free ball, set Kaz Brown, one of your most efficient attackers, a three set, and have her score. Back set, Lewis turned back. Lewis again, and this time it finds the floor. And I'll tell you this too, Madison, their coverage, speaking of San Diego, off of being turned back via the block has been exceptional. They've been able to get balls up that other teams just quite simply have not. I could not agree more. It's one of the most selfless parts of the game. You're giving confidence to your attacker by being there for her. You tell her you got her back, swing through, swing hard, and you'll cover it up for her. And the Mojo have been doing fantastic at that, recycling the ball a lot. We've seen Orlando time and time again just wreak havoc at the net, and they've gotten their hands on balls. This time it'll go down as a stuff block. But there have been a lot of those that somehow, some way, San Diego has dug up off the floor. Five-three Orlando and a must-win set. China Joseph floats it in short. Dalkey off the block. Nice pass to Wilma Rivera. There's Kaz Brown operating on the slide. San Diego got a hand and knocked it up into the antenna area. I think it crossed behind the antenna, or outside it, I should say, and that is no good. And Kaz Brown does a good job always being in the air for her setter, working really hard in transition to get off the net and run the play. That is something that Kaz Brown was taking extra time after practice just a couple days ago to do. Nice up. Dalkey, good stretch by Murphy. Gillen lets it fly. Dalkey again, Murphy covers again. Joseph picked up by Thomas A. Lara. Lewis rolls it to the back row and an eye. Gillen played up by Thomas A. Lara. Dalkey again, because why not? Throwing nine, no! What a fun rally, though. These defenses are so incredibly elite. Lining up on the attacker's shoulder, having all the right angles, digging deep to keep the play alive. But there, the point going to San Diego. The play has to end so at some point. It goes for so long, it has to end. Like that rally right there is a perfect snapshot on how hard each of these teams has had to work here today. Thomas Ilara dug up by Murphy. How good has she been here early in this set? That is all Murphy creating an opportunity. Absolutely, and when Coach Pauly talks about Murphy, she says she's diligent, she's quiet, she's steady. She's that steady quiet for her team, always making the plays, doing all the little things right. Shout out Shina Joseph, who's going to get an assist on the day. Always love to see the opposite assist every once in a while. Here's a side out kill for Morgan Lewis. Gillen jammed up on service. He back set by Murphy to an eye. Bastianelli off speed picked up by Murphy. 
A shove by Gillen. Back row. Dolphy dug up. A nine, no digging that. Oh boy. A hot shot, heavy cross by Adora Anai. She's got such a heavy arm. Look at her there getting off the net in transition. And then there's that sharp angle. That San Diego Mojo coach, Coach Hanif Park, said that they need to plant themselves in and dig up. Service error by Orlando. He's done a pretty good job of cleaning that up to this point. They had a bunch in set one, only one in set three, and then a couple now here in set four. Tom Kahn with a service error of her own. Sometimes it's a little contagious. Hate to admit it, but sometimes it is. Here's Wilma Rivera. Strong serve there, Venegas, even better pass. About an eye, got a hand on it. Thomas Elara dug over the net. Lewis, heavy swing, Murphy will not track it down. That will be Lewis's 10th kill. She's been really steady offensively for the Mojo. Scoring when it matters as the Mojo is trying to shorten that lead that the Valkyries have. Lewis, who is teammates with Georgia Murphy at the University of Oregon, both coached for a year by Taiba Hanif Park. Small world. <laughs> Small world. And Coach Park told us how proud she was of both of those young ladies and frankly the entire Oregon program, the brand of volleyball they've played in the Pac-12, soon to be Big Ten. They have flooded this Pro Volleyball Federation with ducks. And here's Kendra Dahlke. She played in the Pac-12 at Arizona and she finds that corner. And look at that corner, perfectly placed. It doesn't get more deep and perfect right into the corner. She's got that placement on lock. She loves swinging down that line. China Joseph. Lewis off speed, picked up by her former Duck teammate Murphy. And now put down. San Diego has patrolled and at times just straight up dominated the net. Absolutely, and you see them there waiting to jump, jumping at the right time, that set high, so they had time to plant their feet and get set, and Jill Gillen loves a tempo set, so that set needs to be a little short, um, sorry, lower, a little bit more tempo for her to get it. High set for Gillen, and that happened a couple of times late in set three. Number 10 in blue, who is tremendous and can get up there, still faced with a hefty block and turned back a few times now. Absolutely, and that's why you run through your middles to try and free up your pins. Maybe give Jill more of a chance, a one-on-one -on -one situation. That's why you mix up your offense. And just like that, we're tied up at 10. Nice pass by Gillen. Dalkey heavy down the line. Gillen off speed over the block. Dalkey got there with the left. Joseph looking through the seam, missed it. Point, San Diego, they lead. And I believe we have a challenge here by Orlando. You cannot challenge in or out. So I would imagine the next best thing that they'll be challenging here is whether or not there was a block touch. They did, and they were right. Bolt six confirming that Blake O'Marty and pressing that tap had the right idea. And one thing I love about the challenge system is if you challenge it and you are correct in that challenge, you get the challenge back. You are rewarded for challenging. 
And so it's Orlando who leads 11 to 10. No lead for San Diego just yet in this fourth set. Michaela White back to serve. And that's tough for the Valkyries. You flip the scoreboard and then a service error right on the backside of it. Yeah, but it is difficult to get momentum going with the service errors. And so here's Lewis. And here's Gillen. Jill Gillen caught the block touch. And so even though it was just long, the contact at the net by San Diego makes all the difference for number 10 in blue. And there was that tempo set that Jill Gillen loves to run. It allows her to be crafty and tool the block. On the slide, Stone rejected. Again, good coverage by San Diego. Gillen, off of Lewis. If you're just tuning in, this is set that Orlando must win. They now lead it by two. Will be Shina Joseph back to serve. She is so good. She is so good, and she puts so much pace and power behind every single swing. And defense is all about the angles of your platform. Georgia Murphy underneath that ball, but didn't have her platform angled into the court to keep it up. We've talked a lot about Dalkey already today. Top 10 all time at her alma mater, the University of Arizona, and kills over 1,400, in fact. She led the entire Pac-12 in kills in 2018. Point Valkyries off the attack error though. And I believe San Diego has called for a challenge. And I would not be surprised if it's the same idea. Somebody in Orlando they thought. I thought we were going to get an explanation there for a second, but I would have to imagine San Diego thought Orlando contacted that ball at the net. Yep, I believe the challenge was a block touch. No block touch. 22 high depth camera angles around Edition Financial Arena. And somebody monitoring all 22 of them at a command center in Frisco, Texas, could not find a block touch. San Diego loses the challenge. They still lose the point. And not only do they lose that specific challenge request, they are only down to one for the balance of this set. Brown runs around the set and puts it through the seam. Brown loves to run that slide. You see her there putting work in transition. And then Stone to the pin, not able to close that block, and Brown took advantage. 15-12, Orlando, as we approach the midway media timeout at Addition Financial Arena. win set four to extend the match they lead it midway through 15 12 back and forth we go here in central florida san diego winning set one 25 23 the valkyries winning set two 25 21 before san diego and set three is 
that Orlando raced out of the gates. Won the most lopsided set of the bunch, 25-19. And now here's Orlando with their newly unveiled mascot leading the YMCA here in this fourth set. Looking to ride this wave of momentum and force a fifth. Good start here. Free ball to the Valkyries. Kaz Brown. You can hear her. Come on, come on, come on. They did. And that's exactly what you want out of your middle. Up in the air every single time, calling for the set. And you see there the gap in between the two blockers. She drove that ball straight through. Orlando's playing a lot more efficient this game than they did the last. Largest lead of the set for Orlando. 16 to 12, Tom Com sets Thomas Elara. Good coverage by Orlando, high reach, Kaz Brown off speed, good stretch. This time out to the pin, Anai rejected. Now trying to beat the block, Lewis covers. Thomas Elara shoves, Gillen gets there with the left. Anai turning down the line, gracious, everybody's got their hands on the ball in this rally. Off speed again, picked up by Lewis. Thomas Elara kept up by Murphy. An eye! Wow, what a point! Georgia Murphy is unstoppable on defense right now. Check this out, diving underneath it, laying it out, reading that shoulder of the attacker so well, doing everything she can to not let the ball touch the ground, and Adora Anai taking care of it like she always does. Georgia Murphy had 32 digs in the first matchup between San Diego and Orlando. No digging that ball up there, but already at 19 here, midway through set four with Orlando looking intent to force a fifth. Yep, she's got a really good read on the ball right now as well. Look how far back beyond the end line Veronica Stone goes to serve that ball in. Thomas Elara off speed. Kaz Brown picks it up. Gillen rejected from the back row. Murphy plays it up. Free ball, San Diego. Thomas Elara dug up by Gillen. Wilma Rivera calls her own number. I said it once, I'll say it a million times. That's the difference between an elite setter and a regular setter. Their ability to use themselves as offensive weapons rising into the air and attacking that ball. Timeout by San Diego. I thought for a second they were going to challenge maybe whether or not Rivera was in the net. It'll just be a timeout though by the Mojo with Orlando leading by five. We'll take a timeout as well and rejoin the action in a moment. Pro Volleyball Federation, where every action carries the weight of passion and pride. There's a select group that rises above the rest. 23 athletes of the Pro Volleyball Federation are past or current members of the USA Women's National Volleyball Team. Each a testament to dedication, skill, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Pro Volleyball Federation, building champions and making dreams a reality. She just has the touch tonight. Sometimes everything just goes right. I feel like Betty De La Cruz has started out that way tonight. Sir, De La Cruz turns up the power. Here's De La Cruz. Too much to handle. Oh my. There's no better top spin serve in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Sub in to serve for the Valkyries. Up five points, approaching the red zone here in set four. 18 13, a set they must win. Tom Com sets Lewis out of the back row. An eye. Turn back and to the floor. Allie Bastianelli equaling her efforts in Columbus with several more blocks here today. Four in Ohio for Bastianelli, four more now here today. 
White turn back. Good coverage, though, by an eye. Joseph goes over the block and drops it in in front of that end line. Nice placement by Joseph in between two defenders. It looked like a little bit of a communication error, but well done by Joseph weaving it in there. Five-point lead. What a pass there by Dalkey. Lewis, heavy through the seam, that's out. What a pass is right. That is a difficult serve to receive. Oh, and just barely out. But that is a difficult serve to receive because it's moving so quickly and dropping at the last second. But she did a good job getting her feet there early and setting her platform up. Thomas Elara jammed up. At a system ball for an eye. Orlando picks up the tip. Joseph tried to beat the block, but couldn't. Morgan Lewis with the block. Morgan Lewis has been really steady. Set that block up in the right spot. And as the mojo tries to chip away at this lead that the Valkyries have created, that block could not have come at a better time. 10 kills, eight digs, an assist. Three blocks, three more positive block touches for Morgan Lewis. She might be getting close to a double-double. There's another block, wow! And this can start to change the tide. Solid defense from the net. Shutting down the Valkyries just a little bit. They still got some cushion though. Lindsey Vanderweide back to serve once again. It's an ace. And volleyball is a game of momentum right now. The Mojo have all the momentum. It seems like Amy Polly wants to put a stop to it. Lindsey Vanderweide didn't get the start. This is the first time we've seen her. She is their second leading scorer. And now she's taking care of business at the service line. She just has the touch tonight. So nice. Everything just goes right. I feel like Betty Dale has started out that way tonight. Sir, De La Cruz turns up the power. Here's De La Cruz. Too much to handle. Oh my. There's no better top spin serve in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Since you got to give her the player of the week award right now. The wait is finally over. A concept years in the making becomes a reality tonight. We have stars that are sure to make a splash in terms of tennis. They are stars everywhere you look. No secret that tonight is going to be epic. Prepare to make history. And we are underway. And what a start. And a serve for Wiley. Picks out Nana Miller. Just so us back from break and Lindsay Vanderweide dropped in another ace. Nothing like coming into the game and making an immediate impact as they enter the red zone and try to shorten this lead. Strong service rotation for Vanderweide. Trim the lead to two, but that is a service error that just comes at a tough time. You like the ratio, two aces to one error. She got Orlando out of system once and they got smothered by a block, but you just can't have an error this late. Absolutely, yep. But, and I do love that she's trying to put the service pressure on them, though. Keep them out of system. Strong pass. Lewis backside. Will she get a touch call? Yes. And Orlando says, no way. Blake O'Mardian pressing the challenge on the tablet. And Michelle Prater confirming what we suspected. And you might as well challenge it right there. It seemed like everyone from the Valkyries was confident that there was no touch on that ball. And getting this late into the set, you might as well challenge. And they're correct. And they get rewarded the challenge back. 
Orlando's been perfect on their challenge attempts to this point. And that is a big overturn on the call. It took a two-point lead and made it four. You don't just give a point to Orlando. You're taking one away from San Diego. And just like that, the lead doubled. Tight. And point to Orlando. And we see Orlando start to break away here. I said it was a game of momentum, and it is really true. Obviously, it's best to gain that momentum late in the set. Adora and I will go back to serve once again. 23-18. Nice pass by Dalkey. Lewis, the beneficiary with another impressive swing. Number 30 in yellow continues to deliver for the mojo. Targeting Dalkey on serve receive, but really solid pass by her, allowing that perfect set to Lewis and the kill. Bastianelli will serve it in. Gellin going off speed, rolls it over the block. Here's Lewis again. Picked up by Murphy. Joseph. That's dug over, and Joseph knows exactly what to do with it. Take care of it, Shina Joseph. She is so athletic and quick. It was a split-second decision, sometimes in volleyball. You have to make those split-second decisions, and she took care of that ball in a very aggressive way. Set points for Orlando. Out of the middle, Stone erases one. That was a beautiful swing, perfectly placed. A lot of power behind that. Nice pass, too, off the serve received. Tom Tomcom didn't even have to move, and Stone finishing it. Veronica Stone, who's played professional volleyball in Puerto Rico, France, and is part of the Athletes Unlimited League, finished in the top 10 in 2022. She was the top middle blocker that year, in fact. Here's Gillen as a rookie, letting it fly. Venegas, back bump. Oh, my goodness! That is one of the most difficult sets to attack, coming from all the way to the back end line, so she had to wait on her approach and time it out well, and then just a testament to Venegas and how she's been playing with the perfect set. 17th kill for Dalkey, and Kaz Brown puts an end to set four, forcing a decisive fifth, the second five-setter between these two teams in as many meetings. And what's a Valkyrie game and a Mojo game without it going to five sets? We will be right back after this. As the sun continues to shine on the inaugural season of the Pro Volleyball Federation, the stage is set for the crowning of the champion. An energetic Saturday night here inside Gas South Arena. Vibe and the mojo and our first serve. In the heart of competition, Pro Volleyball Federation has ignited a firestorm of excitement. Captivating audience and athletes alike with every match. But behind every spike, every dive, there's been a force driving excellence. Ran out the others. The solo block right on. Red Athletics proudly champions the success of the Pro Volleyball Federation's first season. Here's to many more victories on the horizon. China Joseph with a NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Volleyball Federation, where every action carries the weight of passion and pride. There's a select group that rises above the rest. 23 athletes of the Pro Volleyball Federation are past or current members of the USA Women's National Volleyball Team. Each a testament to dedication, skill, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Pro Volleyball Federation, building champions and making dreams a reality. What an absolutely beautiful...
wonderful spring evening in the Midwest as we welcome you live to Grand Rapids. This is the Volleyball Federation. And the left side, Chasse with a set point swing. Tom Tom to Temi, and she wins it for San Diego. Fifth set shootout on your way. First to 15, win by two for the match. And for Orlando, their first five set win of the season came in Viejas Arena over the same team they faced today on their own home floor. An Orlando team that had lost in five setters to Atlanta twice, once in a five setter to Omaha, once in a five setter to Columbus, who took so much away from that. Amy Pauly telling us earlier this week, from that win, we learn we can. And so here they are once again, taking on a San Diego team that has pushed them once again. Adora and I with the first haymaker in the fifth. Nice way to start out the set, a little tempo set to Adora and I. Nice and quick, Adora reaching that set, dropping inside, and she charges for it. Off the edge of the block and down 10 blocks in the last two sets for San Diego after having four in the first two. It has been a game of highlight reels, that is for sure. And that's what you get when you get four versus five. Lots at stake. Thomas Ilara back to serve. Good stretch by Murphy on serve receive. Joseph off speed over the block. Here's Morgan Lewis who's had a career day. We're in year one of the Pro Volleyball Federation. She just turned pro, but she's had a heck of a day. And so too has Dalkey. 18 kills now today. That's a season high for Kendra. What a time to step up. A straight down tip. Also have to give credit to the incredible dig by TomCom. Nice quick twitch, high hands dig. Oh, good pass there by Murphy. Good coverage by San Diego once again. Out of system, Joseph Rolls. Out of system to Lewis, off the block, played up by Gillen. Boy, how scrappy have these two teams been today. Off the block and out, Dalkey again. And Dalkey is absolutely on fire, and Tom Com knows this, so she's going to feed the hot hands. And what was impressive by that swing is how she had to speed up her approach. That set a little low. So she had to speed up into it, and she still got her feet there and still scored. Thomas Ilara, who can record kills in bunches. We haven't called her name a lot today, but she's got a strong service rotation going. San Diego leading by three, and Orlando wastes no time to call timeout. You don't have a whole lot of wiggle room in a 15-point fifth set. Orlando knows it, and they need to talk. What an absolutely beautiful spring evening in the Midwest as we welcome you live to Grand Rapids. This is the Volleyball Federation. And the left side, Chasse with a set point swing. Tom Tom to Temi, and she wins it for San Diego.
Early lead for San Diego in set five. Orlando scored the opening point off a kill by Adora Anai. Since then, a four-point rip by the Mojo in this first to 15 win by two for the match set. MK White got it off the edge of the block. And Madison, we were talking about this in the commercial break. If you're Orlando at this point in time, you almost have to resort yourself to knowing San Diego's gonna get a hand on just about every ball, it seems. And you've gotta be really intentional about what you do with it. Exactly, you have to get creative, you have to get crafty. You've gotta find new ways to score and find an answer for that block. Lewis. Baldy block touch by Orlando. It hovers over the net, and nobody was able to cover. And that was good by Bastianelli taking care of that ball, sending it to the floor as they lengthen their lead. Joseph. She was the hot hand early for Orlando. In fact, she was so good so soon in this match that she was set as often as Adora Anai, who's been the go-to for the Valkyries for the vast majority of the season. Absolutely, and now she's got 15 kills, which is tied for a team high with Adora Anai. Dalkey, dug up by MK White. Oh, what coverage by Venegas. Lewis with the roll. Joseph again, kept up. Tom Com stretching. Gillen off the top of the block. Here's Dolkey, heavy cross, and that's a kill for Kendra. And even when the Mojo is not blocking these balls straight down, they're funneling it to their defense or they're getting really solid block touches and slowing down that attack. <laughs> 19 kills for Ken Dredalke. Now make it 20. Kaz Brown out of the middle. Dalkey this time off speed, picked up by Murphy. Rivera nearly trips over her teammate to set Gillen, and Gillen unleashes down the line for Orlando. Smart placement by Gillen, just a little out of reach of Thomas Alara. It feels like this point is pivotal for the Valkyries who have trailed by three, they've trailed by four, they've got it back down to two. What will happen here? Stone on the slide. That's exactly what will happen. And Veronica Stone, Stone, my goodness. Yeah, I'm sorry, I got excited. Stone runs such a quick slide that it's difficult for the block to get there and get it closed. And there she is taking advantage of that open area of the net. Good pass. Gillen, though, was looking to catch a hand and didn't catch him. An attack error, and just like that, the lead goes back to four for San Diego. Orlando needed that. They most definitely did. Now they're down by three. You want to chip away at that lead, gain some momentum back on your side. At the service line, you're thinking serve to your zone. That coach is telling you to serve to and make it aggressive and in. Adora and I rotating to the front row now for Orlando. Thomas A. Lara off the block. Joseph turned back, covers herself. An eye, heavy cross. Venegas got a hand on it. Dug over the net. Joust. An eye once again dug up, this time by Dalkey. Thomas A. Lara. No call. challenge I think so yep San Diego wants to take another look that has been the basis of correct me if I'm wrong Madison I think every challenge we've seen today has been whether or not there was a block touch and that's just a testament to how solid the blocking has been they are always 
things in the air, pressing. They're getting hands on almost every single ball. And if you're San Diego, you want to get the Valkyries out of this rotation. You've got Adora Nye just moved up to the front row. Kaz Brown, Shina Joseph from the back row. It's a really solid rotation. You want this point if you're the mojo. Here's the two head coaches, Tayiba Hanif Park and Amy Pauley. Their teams battling it out here in set five in Central Florida. Bolt six says no block touch. Man, those angles are so cool. And you gotta tip your cap to the owners of each and every one of these seven teams in the Pro Volleyball Federation for making the financial commitment to include Bolt 6 technology. It's the same stuff used in the Olympics, the Olympic qualifiers in the VNL. It's very similar to the Hawkeye system in Grand Slam tennis. Indisputable video evidence and a huge overturn. Excuse me, no overturn. That was Point Orlando all the way. Had it been overturned, it would have gone from a two to a four point lead for San Diego. It'll be Gillen back to serve once more. 8-6 San Diego at the midway point of set five. Dalkey passes it up to Tom Com, and there is Veronica Stone. Veronica Stone is so athletic and dynamic running that slide. The Valkyries block not up and pressed at the right time, and Veronica Stone drove it to the ground with a lot of intention. Short serve. Leads to a joust at the net. Dalkey back row! Dalkey has found an answer for every single set. A quick back row set, a big, if you will, in between two defenders, perfect placement, tons of power, point mojo. And a couple of really strong passes here, later goings by Dalkey as well, the little things on top of what she can obviously do offensively. Here's a nine. There's a big kill for number 14 in blue. And that's how much Wilma Rivera trusts Adora Anai. She gives her a set, Anai swings, it's dug up, she gives her another set, she trusts her to score, and Adora Anai goes for a different location, attacks a different defender, and gets the point. Solid serve. You love a point when you can get a point on defense. And it's Paula Cerame, who has been a spark plug at multiple points this season for Orlando. Coming in to try to string together a strong service rotation. And we have not called Thomas Ilara a lot. But that is an important swing with Orlando starting to string together some momentum. An important swing with absolute purpose, contacting that ball so high and snapping on it. We haven't called her name a lot, but that's her 10th kill. To go along with 18 digs. Adora and I tooling the block, and that is something to keep an eye on. Can Orlando continue to do that to generate points here in this fifth set? Nice pass by Venegas. Gillen covers. And I off the block and down. Big time defensive play by Jill Gillen. And great swing by Adora Anai. Nice high hands dig, quick tempo set. Adora Anai taking advantage of that middle blocker being a little late to close. One point fifth set. Lewis with the shove. And I has to launch from what's effectively the back row, despite the fact that she was in the front row. And that sails wide. Yep, that's definitely a tough one to get a kill on. Off the net, a little off balance, just overcorrected down the line. Two point lead for San Diego. Oh, nice job there on serve receive. Joseph 
tried to dig that one out. And San Diego comes away with yet another point. Timeout, Orlando. Time and time again, San Diego's been putting up an absolute wall at the net. Orlando there doing a good job at covering, but San Diego is being tough up there at the net. Underway here in Orlando, Adora Anai with another kill off the block. That is kill number 19 for Adora to go along with 25 digs. She'll head back to serve. Lewis with the shove. Murphy picks it up. Joseph drops the hammer. Big time play in a big time moment. Good for Georgia Murphy covering that area of the court, the little campfire, scooping it up, being so scrappy. Shina Joseph cranking it through that open seam. 24 digs for Georgia Murphy. Dalkey dug up by an eye. Joseph off speed. Tom Com pulled out on first contact. Out of system ball, Dalkey dug up by Murphy. Back row, a nine, and that will do it here for Orlando. They knot it up at 13. And one of the things that I love about Adora Anai is that it doesn't matter that we're in the red zone in the fifth set. Win by two, we're almost to 15. It doesn't matter. She's going to swing just as confident and as bravely and as strong as she can every single time. She takes big risks and they pay off. Boy, the Valkyries have edged and trimmed and squished and clawed. Tried to work their way back into the fifth set. The winner of the next point will inherit match point. And I've said it once, but I have to say it again. There is a lot at stake. The Orlando Valkyries currently ranked four in the Pro Volleyball Federation rankings. San Diego Mojo at five. If San Diego gets this upset technically, if you will, as far as the rankings are concerned, they will go to four. San Diego coming into the Orlando at seven and nine. And so as we take a look at these highlights, that's the exact scenario that you laid out there in Madison. And man, if we're looking at an Orlando side of things, that's the player right there. Sure, the swings by an eye and Gillen and Joseph have been huge, but those plays by Georgia Murphy over and over and over again to give her teammates a shot has made Orlando. Absolutely, it's the steadiness on defense that's allowed them to chip at this lead. Lewis straight down and San Diego digs deep and inherits a match point opportunity. And that's Lewis's first kill of this fifth set and it could not have come at a better time. Gillen transitions and equalizes again. That's that tempo set that Jill Gillen loves. When you're an undersized pin, you got to do something crafty. You got to run a quicker set, and she does it so well, swinging through that ball and catching the block on their way down. Carly Scott 
will check in to serve. Lewis, Scott got a hand on it. And Orlando gets it over, Venegas picks it up. Lewis turned back. Out of system ball to Dalkey. That missed, and Orlando has match point. And that's what happens when you're a blocking machine. Orlando has shut them down a few times, so now the mojo feels like they need to do something a little extra, swing a little bit more down the line, go out of themselves, out of their comfort zone a little bit, and that's why you work so hard to block the ball, to create errors like that late in this game. Timeout, San Diego. This is an Orlando team. Credit Madison. She said, you know, a younger team by comparison that are still finding their way. They're being rolled into these situations against players that at times have considerably more experience than them at the pro level. Things happen quicker, and we've struggled at times to put things away late. They've got a chance to flip the script on San Diego here and be the team that finds a way late after being down several points. Absolutely. Every single one of these players on the court, no matter how much of a rookie they are or no matter how young they are, they have found a way to step up, chip away at that lead. They've been very brave on defense and offense, going all out for the need one more to take the match. And how interesting it is that it was the match in San Diego that basically told Orlando, you can. They learned it, and they've got an opportunity here to win the second matchup between these two teams, this time at home. Dalkey off the block. Scott passes it up. Gillen off the top of the block. Tom Com pulled out on first contact. Lewis turned back. Dalkey off the edge of the block and down. A massive swing by Kendra Dalkey. A massive swing in a big time situation, still going for it. She swiped it off the inside, the left arm of Cass Brown, who did press. She was up in the air pressing. But Dalkey found a way to sneak it past her. One match point erased for either side. Great offense by Orlando, and they have their second match point opportunity. And it all starts with the pass. Jill Gillen working really hard to create that platform and that angle right to her setter to open up the offense. Shina Joseph back to serve. Dalkey! Oh my goodness. I mean, where do you start with that? How about the pass by Venegas? It always starts with a pass, perfect pass, and then Dalkey dropping her thumb, sharp cross-court swing. That's just so good as Dalkey goes back to serve. Gillen. Stone, dug up by Murphy, bumped, and now under the net, match point number two coming for San Diego. Both of these teams are extremely gritty. No one backing down. There's been some really fun defensive plays towards the end of this match. Kendra Dalkey to serve. Match point. Turn back. Kept up. Off speed. Dalkey herself will swing back row. Here goes Orlando and Gillen. Dalkey dug that up. At a system, Thomas Ilara dug up by Murphy. Wilma Rivera ran the full length of the court to get to that. Thomas Ilara puts it down for San Diego. And they keep the mojo rolling. Straight through the Sunshine State. All around, all performance from every single player, every single area of the court. An incredible performance by the Mojo. Look at that tempo set. Right, right 
to her hand, right to her arm. Thomas Ilara, exclamation point way to end a match. With the win, San Diego improves to seven and eight. Orlando now dropping to seven and 10. Madison, when you dissect this matchup, what stands out to you in the end? Overall, in general, just the level of play. We saw some incredibly long rallies. We've seen liberos make these big flashy digs, take care of the little things, and then we've seen some straight down kills. We've seen great court awareness from all the attackers, and we've seen elite setters set the ball in a very balanced way. Overall, it just has to be the level of play in the Pro Volleyball Federation is incredible. After a tough start to the season, San Diego has clawed their way back and are now in the top four seeds for the playoffs. Still plenty of work to do. Orlando, same as well. They're within reach. They've got Atlanta here at Edition Financial Arena next weekend. We can't wait to check in with you in one month's time, though, from Ad5 for our entire crew. From Madison Fitzpatrick, Sean Davison signing off and saying so long from Central Florida.